Hello and welcome back to All The Gear, Some Idea. So I only have one bike-ish at the moment. So if you've been following our series on the 125 Challenge, you will know uh, that they're sold. So mine has already gone and the replacement has already been bought. Um, I've still got the ZZR. However, if anyone's interested, it will be for sale all the time. Um, so... Not going to reveal what bike I've bought on this video. What I am going to do is an unboxing of a motorcycle jack because the new bike doesn't have a center stand and it will not allow me to put any of my paddock stands on the front or the rear. Uh, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you the key. If anyone can guess what bike I've got, then credit to you. We'll show you how next time or on one of the later videos at least. Uh, so yeah, I bought this today, the jack and i couldn't find any actual videos of people unboxing it and showing how high it goes i had sort of looked at an american video for i think it was a, a some other a, it looked very similar uh but it is a halfords motorcycle and atv jack with a two-year guarantee uh yeah so we're just going to unbox this today sort of look around it and then in the next video you will be able to see the new bike uh and how that actually works Purely, I wouldn't normally do an unboxing on something like this, but because there's no videos out there, I'm like, right, let's do it. Because other people are going to want to buy it. It's on offer at the moment. It's about £92. I didn't pay that. Was it 90, £98? I had a trade card, took it down to 90 and then I had some uh, vouchers for Halfords as well, so that took it down to 50 quid. So, yeah, bargain, really. Uh, yeah, let's... And I'll show you what we bought. Okay, so one thing I can tell you is it says two-person lift on the box. Now, I bought the Halfords Advanced Jack, which is beside me. You've probably seen it in another video. It's the one the Fox had a poo on. So I'm, no doubt a Fox is going to poo on this as well. Not going to lie, I picked it up, and it's the first time I've picked something up from Halfords. It says a two-person lift. I thought, God, yeah, this would be a two-person lift, purely because of the size of the box and how awkward it is. So we're just going to cut these off so you can actually see now what it actually is and then ta-da first impressions look all right need to get rid of some more cardboard amazing so let's pull that out whoop so we've got a nice little instruction manual Oh, there's the jack. If we get all this out, and hopefully we can pull it out of the box. If my weak arms will allow me to. Right, so I've just gone to see what tools I need, had a little scout through the old instruction manual, and here we are. So, what we've got, you've got your your actual pump jack, that's like a 4x4 like four four jack that bolts onto this plate here, so we're going to do that bit first. Yeah, I have had a little look, and it seems to me that everything on it is a 14mm spanner. So what we're going to do is lift that up or not we'll slide that in there like so and slide that in there like so hopefully get these bolts done up that one started let's get this one done up as well Right, I'm going to knit them up, make sure they're all good. Yep. Yep. Cool. Right then. Next, we are going to do this thumb screw here up. 
that's now holding the jack in place. And there we go, that's the jack actually fitted. And then undo this 14 mil here, slide that in to about there. There she blows. Cool. Right, and then we're going to undo this bit here, pull that out, slide that bar in. So it goes doesn't got an actual stop on that. So that's that in as well. Next, we have got to do this, which is for the safety bar. So it's got little locks that fall down inside. That then stops it the bike from falling on you. Now, as I've said, the reason I've had to buy this is the new bike doesn't have a center stand. There's no way of using the traditional, uh, what do you call them? Panic stands with the bike. So make of that what you will and have a little guess. Obviously, I said I'll show you the key at the end, which I will do. I'll show you a key and then comment. And it is cheating if you see the next video and then you say what bike it is. Because in the next video, which is the unveiling, un I might do two. I might do one of the jack, which is to be a part two of the jack, which will also show the bike, but I'll do another one of just, just the bike. Cool. Right, so you've also got these twisty knobs here so they will go all the way down and support the jack so now it won't move because as some of you will be aware it does roll so you can put the bike on it it comes with as you can see here there's like a tab and there's also a tab in here so you can use a ratchet strap around whatever you're lifting to hold it in place and then that's just to move it and that is to lift it and to lower it right in front of my eyes. Okay, so wheel it around once, chat, and then jack it up. To your desired height. And you'll see now the orange bar is moving up. And eventually that, there you go, locked in. Locked in. Locked in. And then what you're supposed to do is lower it back and now the it will be locked in and you can use these tie downs that I said about earlier to strap it all up. It obviously will go higher than that, but it's probably not recommended, but that's as far as high as, as it sort of goes, but that must be plenty enough for most people. And then to release it so it goes down, if I release it so it touches back on the lock again, so you go stuck now, we're going to pump it away from the lock, pull it backwards, clip it into that little bar there, hold down on that. And very slowly, obviously with a bike on there, going down probably a little bit quicker. There we go. So I'm quite happy with that. That's, um, you know, if you've got an engine you want to work on, I suppose, you put an engine on it and you can mess around with it and you can move it around. Maybe my plan. Right then, that was my unboxing of the motorcycle ATV jack from Halfords. Uh, a few specs. Uh, 680 kilograms of lifting capacity. Uh, the minimum height is 13.5 centimeters and the maximum height is 43 centimeters. So as I say, as you saw it come up, pretty good for uh, the height. So it should be able to bring your bike off the floor, 
get both wheels off and, and do what you need to do, especially if your bike doesn't allow for normal paddock stands like I've already got. Uh, as I've already said, rolls around, has wheels, but also has stabilizers so you can lock it to the floor and then it won't move. Let me grab you the key. So, in my hand is a pretty worn key. This is for my new bike. Definitely new to me, not new as an age. Uh, it's a very old bike. Uh, yeah. This will be released before that. That will be released, and then there will be a video of how this works and how good it is after, so you can actually see it. So I was trying to find videos for it, barely find a video that would be like, yeah, yeah, it's good, or it was just something like lifting it up a bit and lowering it down. There was no real, this is how it works, this is what it looks like. So you've, you've obviously seen that it's there. So we're going to end this video now. That is my key. So if you know what it is, or you think you know what it is, comment down below. And it all will be revealed very soon. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.